As long as you dress the code and you watch the areas you're assigned, you're going to do just fine. Timberlands okay? Timberlands high test. But are those not skid? I don't know. Well, you better find out because we get a lot of spillage. And if a bottle of bleach and chlorine collide and you slip, it'll burn right through to the bone. What was that? Mother. Boy, it used to be we'd light a cigar, throw some cologne on a mask. Uh, no perfume's gonna help this girl. She's been marinating a while. Victims of Jane Doe, early 30s. M.E.'s guy said she's been dead since Friday night. Driver picked her up this morning. And where's the genius who moved her? <sighs> Supervisor went off to call me. Driver went to puke. That leaves the new kid. Maybe he wanted to make sure she was dead. Well, one look would have told him that. Ah, what are you going to do? It was his first day on the job. He wasn't expecting visitors. Look, he blows our forensics? Not to mention he wakes me up every Tuesday and Thursday morning. Now these guys only handle commercial zones. City handles residential. Well, does the new guy talk? I already tore him a new one, OK? Yeah, there goes my fun. Detectives Briscoe and Green would like to pick your brains. No ID, purse, anything. OK, we're going to need the entire load separated so our techs can examine it. We don't have to go through the whole thing. She popped out the front means I picked her up on the Lower East Side, probably somewhere along Essex Street. All right, thanks. Let's get a canvas started, see if anybody saw anything, and have them examine all the commercial bins. That's a tough first day on the job. It's even tougher last day. Single gunshot wound at the lower temporal regions of the brain. Also found defensive wounds on the hands and arms, but most of the abrasions are post-mortem. Five tons of garbage will do that. Slug's a 38 caliber, pretty banged up. Ballistics has it now. Look at the track marks on her arm. Tox screen shows both cocaine and heroin in her system. Uh, speedball. High's supposed to be like free falling in an elevator for 30 stories. Well, her loved ones will be glad to know she died with a smile on her face. If we ever find them. Well, maybe I can help you with that. Oh, please tell me she's got her name and address tattooed somewhere. Close. Are those what I think they are? Well, they are not water balloons. Saline implants. OK, so that narrows it down to every woman in every bar in Second Avenue. Actually, they come with catalog and lot numbers. The lab that manufactured them might be able to help you track down her surgeon. Serolene Laboratories, they were one of the first to make implants anatomical. Most other implants were round, but seven years ago, people were opting for anatomics because they look less fake. They have a more natural slope. We appreciate the history lesson, but we really just need to know this woman's name. I'm sure you know that information's privileged. Well, uh, somehow, I don't think she'll mind. Here we are, Jane Hunt. I have a billing address. Call me old-fashioned, but plastic cools my engine. Uh, you seem to enjoy Shirley. What's the name from the spaghetti joint? Believe me, everything about Shirley was real. Well, I guess you two never went jogging. When did you become such an expert on what's real and what isn't? Hey, man, I'm a regular Renee Descartes. Renee, I think I got a lap dance from her once. Therefore, I am. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think she lived in this building. So Jane Hunt is Patty Poitek? Is that supposed to mean something to somebody? How oh, about three million records sold? You're sure it was her? Oh, God. I've been her agent going on six years. Good old Patty, always with the great timing. That sounds terrible. That is terrible, Mr. Sanford. Pierced Tongue, it's her band, has an album coming out in two weeks. Their first in three years. Three years? What happened, writer's block? No, she lost her husband, Shane Mallory. He used to be the lead singer of Crisis. Oh, is that the guy that took a header off to Brownstone in Brooklyn? He's got an entire section of Prospect Park dedicated to him. When was the last time you talked to Patty? Not for a couple of weeks. She was undergoing rehab at the Daylight House in Riverdale. From what I hear, she was doing well. Last time I saw her was around 7 Friday night. She was on her way out of group therapy. About an hour later, I was told she checked out. Checked out? Is this rehab or the Four Seasons? The daylight program is voluntary. We don't force anyone to stay. 
Well, do you know why she left? No. It seemed like she was making real progress, especially given the circumstances. Well, what circumstances? She lost her mother when she was 15. Her father physically abused her, and her husband killed himself. She hit the trifecta. Something must have set her off. Well, uh, if there was something, she didn't share it during group. What about visitors or phone calls? Not allowed. The program depends upon isolation. No television, no radio. We don't even permit our patients to carry money. Well, if she didn't have any cash, how'd she get all the way downtown? We provide patients with a courtesy van. Straight to her courteous dealer. Our driver took her home. After that, she's on her own. 